I think it's pretty safe to say that the future of the Star Wars franchise seems to be quite expansive, not just with their books, novels, comics, and video games, but also let's not forget about their new live-action and animated Star Wars TV series to arrive on Disney+, Plus, as well as their new Star Wars trilogy of films, also known as the fourth Star Wars trilogy by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero, make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, the one thing about Disney Star Wars is that yes, we do know that they have over 10 years worth of Star Wars projects in the works on Disney Plus alone. That of course is for TV shows apart from the actual movies, you know, let that sink in for a moment there. When you think about it this way, they only are focusing on TV shows for the time being before they are fully invested with the movies, which they're already working on by the way, but right now they're really focused on The Mandalorian Season 2, The Bad Batch for 2021, and other TV shows in the works like the Ahsoka Tano TV series plus more. However, one particular TV show that a lot of fans are against and really up in arms over is the Leslie Headland Star Wars TV series that will be controlled by, of course, Kathleen Kennedy that will also include actress Brie Larson. Now, this new TV series, in case you guys did not know, is going to really promote activism, it's going to promote identity politics, all these crazy things that just don't belong in Star Wars, in my opinion. It's more better to focus on story, obviously, over all of that. Now, when you look at Leslie Headland, Bob Iger and Chapek have been very unhappy about Kathleen Kennedy's decision by hiring her for that very reason because of how out of control she really is with Star Wars. Now, with that being said, of course, with both Disney and Lucasfilm now finished with the sequel trilogy, they are currently focused on their new Star Wars universe that will also introduce a brand new mythology to Star Wars fans around the world. It's explained that Bob Iger and Bob Chapek are currently hard at work on developing multiple plans to reunite the Star Wars fans around the world. It's explained that one of the upcoming new Star Wars TV series by Leslie Headland is already in the works and is said to involve actress Brie Larson. Currently, it's said that Brie and Leslie came to an agreement that Brie would be able to call the shots on some of the story elements in the TV series for Disney+. It's explained that Larson and Leslie are set to make major changes to the Star Wars franchise by implementing the concept of breaking the rules of Star Wars and completely changing the philosophy of Star Wars by George Lucas. It's noted that Brie and Leslie want to create a new normal for Star Wars that will redefine the series and what it means to the new Star Wars fans that will be introduced to her series on Disney+. Now this is the real big deal here is that it's noted that Brie and Leslie are set to take Star Wars Legends material that were approved by George Lucas in the 90s and the 2000s and that they are going to create their own spin on Legends characters and stories by not staying accurate on purpose with the Star Wars Legends material and flipping it completely upside down to draw from previous source material while making it feel new for the fans. Now let me just say one thing here is that an actress like Brie Larson does not deserve or doesn't really seem like it really is a smart idea to include her in deciding on specific story elements and exactly how it's really going to work in this new Star Wars TV series, especially somebody like Brie Larson, right? Now, Leslie Headland, in case you guys did not know, she really isn't necessarily a real fan at that. She doesn't even have a favorite film, as she said on camera multiple times. But when we look at everything related to Headland here is that what she's doing with the franchise is that she's trying to create this new take on the franchise in order to draw in brand new Star Wars fans to create that new normal of Star Wars. Now Brie Larson being involved with this with Leslie, taking Star Wars Legends, flipping it upside down, and not staying accurate to the source material on purpose, obviously betrays Star Wars fans. It goes against everything that a lot of hardcore fans really love and enjoy from the 1990s and the early 2000s. Now once again, this is going to be a brand new timeline that's going to use a lot of Star Wars Legends material, but in the wrong ways. You know, this really seems like that this is going to go in a very bad direction, and I really do feel that this could very well be Batwoman 2.0 as far as the backlash goes. It could very well be a repeat of what we saw happen with Ruby Rose in Batwoman and how that TV show really just tanked. So looking with this TV series, obviously, is that we got Kathleen Kennedy involved on a creative scale, which is one red flag. The second red flag is Brie Larson, and the third one of which 
is Star Wars Legends being brought in, but turned upside down. And that, to me, I think is going to really be a recipe for disaster when it comes to this new Star Wars TV series. Now, the other thing that's very important is that they also went against George Lucas's vision. A lot of his original ideas that were supposed to be implemented in this TV show were written out by Leslie Headland. You know, Leslie Headland wanted to do away with all of that. So, with that being said, guys, you know, let me know what you think about this entire situation below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time. Yeah.